Okay, are you looking to get started with Microsoft Fabric? You need a database to get going. How do you go from bringing data in, consuming it, working with it? Oh, I got you. And you wanted to do it easy because you need to be working and operating it. You want to know how these pieces all fit together? Oh, wait till we get into this. Hey, man, if you're just chilling, trying to figure out some stuff about Power BI, well, man, I got the right channel for you. This is the stuff. Like it, subscribe, you know, turn on the alarm bell. You know, come back. Don't miss any of the future videos. This is the place to be. It's all good, man. It's all good. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It is all good. Okay, okay, so enough of this jibber jabby. We want to get data out of our system into something else. So what I did is I, I wrote some scripts, extracted from my Eventworks database, dumped into CSVs, took out my views, then I wrote a notebook to load it all, and oh, you know what? Let's head over to my desktop, let's talk about it, all right? Let's see what I did, okay? So all the data, all this code and data is available out on uh, this Jamoke's uh, uh uh, GitHub repo. It's right here. It's the Fabric AdventureWorks Lakehouse. You can go ahead and you can use this for, for yourself. All right. So this is available for you. So we're going to go out and we're going to um, uh, just go ahead and go to code and download this. You can clone repos and all that good stuff. But if you just download this, it's going to show up inside of your, your downloads folder. You can open this guy up and you can get off to the races, okay? What we're going to be doing is we're going to be copying all the files out of this adventure workspace. We're going to be using these these files that have all the data in it. We're going to be using this load adventure works uh, a, a notebook to do the loading. And then we got uh, some views that we're going to be doing. All right, so let's get into it. Let's head over and let's start this out. Okay, so if I start inside of Fabric, a couple things I want to make sure I do. Number one, I want to make sure that I I have fully on my data engineering hat, right? Like I'm not running my data analyst hat or data engineer or I'm sorry, data science hat. This is my data engineer hat, all right? So in order to do that, I've got this in my lower corner. I've got my data engineer hat on. And I see I've got a whole bunch of different options to do here. I could create something that would go into my workspace right now. I don't want that. I want to create a new workspace, right? So I'm going to do new workspace, and I'm going to call this Adventure Works Lakehouse. Adventure Works Lake House. Okay. And we'll give it a description, the same thing. Uh, if you want, you can use Bing Chat to give you a nice, unique description, but I'm not going to do that because, you know, we're, uh, we're moving quick through this. Okay. Couple options. You're probably going to be doing trial because you're, you have a trial capacity. That's super great. Hey, Microsoft, thank you for the extra 59 days and resetting our trials. Appreciate that, yo. That's great. Um, so make sure it's either in a trial. Let me zoom in. It's either a trial or a premium capacity. If you don't have these available to you, uh, talk to your Power BI admin about turning on the trial so you can give this a shot, understand what this is all about, okay? So go hit apply. This is gonna make it good. I I'm gonna see that it gets created here and it's got uh, the little diamond on it. it. Says I'm good to go, okay? So now I, can I got two options. I can go to new and I could choose Lake House. Or I could go back to my data engineering space and you could see that I'm still inside my AdventureWorks Lakehouse, right? And from here, I could click on Lakehouse. I'm going to call this the same thing AdventureWorks Lakehouse LH. We'll save a little bit of time and energy here, right? So I'm going to create this one. Now, this sometimes happens in seconds. Sometimes it's like a minute or two. Generally speaking, it's pretty fast. It's pretty fast. Uh, so, you know, as an, the engineer me really kind of marvels at how much they've automated in this because right now I went from not having a lake house to now I have a lake house. Isn't that great? Now, I want to bring those files in, right? So this would be like your classical, what they call the bronze layer, your raw data. So I'm going to, on the files tab here, I'm going to click on the little ellipses here and choose to upload a folder because all my data is available to me in a folder. So I'm going to go to upload and I'm going to choose upload folder. All right. So over here, it asks me, well, where the heck is your, your data? I'm going to say, oh, we're going to go over here inside the AdventureWorks. Now it's a little, you can't see it, but it's, it's in here. I guarantee it's in here. Click on upload. 
It says, you know, oh, hey, hang on. Do you really want to upload 24 files to the site? I said, yes, I do. Thank you very much, Microsoft, for being, like, very concerned about my, uh, what I'm doing here. But look at that. Look at that. It's already, it's already all loaded up already. Like, look, all the files have, have been brought over. How, how amazing is that? That's, that's great. You know, uh, that, that's incredible. Okay. So that's here. I click on the files and oh, they're all available. How awesome is that? Now, a pro tip for you. You're about to make a big mistake here. You're going to make the mistake I made when I first started. All right. Don't make the mistake I made. All right. So I could click on uh, this little ellipses here and click on load to tables, right? This is something I could do, right? You could click on that, and I'll show you one more step here. Look what happens if I do that. If I do that, it's going to only create lowercase names. It won't allow you to create camel case, so you, it, it, it can be harder to read, right? I didn't like that. Do you like that? Nobody likes that, right? So don't worry. I got you, all right? That's what... That's the nice thing about the notebook that I have. It, it, it updates that to make sure that we get that, uh, uh, all of the, the good camel case that we like, right? That's going to be very helpful in, in just a second here too, right? So I'm going to go to my data engineering again. And you have to go to data engineering because the big key thing that we want to do is we want this import notebook, okay? So that's only available from the data engineering or data science screens. We go there, click on import notebook, we're going to upload it again it's that file that we got from my uh from my git repo you know it, it's it's this guy right here load adventure works i gotta click on open it's gonna do its little bit of magic here come on there we go it's imported successfully it's available and now i have load adventure works as a notebook that's available for me okay now a couple things are going to happen when i open up this notebook Number one, it's going to say it's it's missing a lake house. Yep. The lake house that was used to generate it is, is all gone. So we need to pin this to a different lake house. This isn't good. No, uh, this isn't good, right? We need to add a lake house to this. So I'm going to hit add. I'm going to say a new lake, or I'm sorry, an existing lake house, right? I already have that lake house. I just created it. Uh, click on add. And here's my AdventureWorks lake house. I'm going to select check. I'm going to click on add. This is a little weird, but this stay with me here. You have to make sure when this gets up, yeah, that this fully gets uploaded and that you have it, you, you've clicked on the pin there, okay? Uh, to make sure that it's all in and you should see a pin right here. That's how you know. That's how you know that it's, it's fully pinned in, okay? It's very important to do that, okay? Once I get these all done in place, I had 24 items. How many cells do I got here? All right, so we're going to create this table. What I'm going to do to get this to run is I'm going to select this top one. I'm going to say run this cell and all below. Click on that. Now, a few things are going to go on. First things first, it's going to connect to your, your Spark node that you've got set up inside your workspace, okay? That could take a few... Oh, uh, it's already started, so that's good, right? So, session's going to be started. Now, it's going to start to go through these different cells, So okay? You can see that we're at 10 seconds here. It's still going through this first cell. Oh, there we go. Starting 15 seconds, running... We're going through, oh, seven of seven, awesome, we're done, and holy cow, that's like 15 seconds, how wonderful is that? Oh, here we go, that one got done in two seconds, three seconds, oh man, Atlanta, three seconds, two seconds, this is kind of fun, actually, I didn't know this went so fast, two seconds, oh, it's going faster than I thought, two seconds, two seconds, three seconds, oh, we, fact tables are coming up, this is going to take a little longer, I bet, I bet. three seconds, Two seconds. One second. No, oh, two seconds. <laughs> it took two seconds to load that. Okay, now we're about to get into the fact tables. Let's see some long run times. This is something that we're about to see me probably have to fast forward through. Because, you know, nobody wants to sit and watch it load, but, you know, it's really running pretty fast. You know, you can watch and, like, skip ahead if you really want to. But I'm kind of excited about this because look how fast it's loading. Each of these two seconds, two seconds, two seconds, two seconds. Two seconds. 
three seconds. Yes, we got our first four seconds. Oh, and that was one of the fact tables. A fact table took four seconds to load. Oh, another fact table in five seconds. Oh, four seconds. Holy crap, this one took two seconds. That fact one took two seconds. Holy cow. Okay, we're all done here. So, whew, I didn't think that was going to go so quickly. All right, so that's there. I'm going to click on it, my SQL endpoints. Now I'm going to start to see some... <laughs> wow, kind of blown away by this. I, I got to be honest with you. All right, it's probably... Even fabric is probably flabbergasted how fast it's going. Well, oh, well, there we go. It's already coming up. So we're going to be doing something here that is going to take a little bit more time. It's opening up all those views, right? So these are the views that we created. I'm going to be opening these up, and then I'm going to be running them inside the session here. Um, uh, I do want to just talk through one of these uh, with you so you understand what we're looking at here. Okay, if I look at this view... This is a dynamic view because if you know anything about the AdventureWorks data, it's set back in 2012. So all your data looks like wonky. This view brings all of your data to current. So you're always looking at current information. It makes it really interesting and nice for you to, to look at and, and do analyze, analysis on, right? So I'm going to take it. I'm going to copy that query. I'm going to head back over to my SQL endpoint. And if you missed that, because I went pretty quick. Went back out to the workspace. From within the workspace, I go into my, I find my SQL endpoint, right? Here's my lake house. Here's my SQL endpoint. Here's my data set. We'll talk about data set later. I'm going to go to my SQL endpoint, click on AdventureWorks. It's going to load that all up. I need to create some views. So in order to do that, I'm going to do a new SQL query. And uh, a pro tip, I'm going to paste it in. And watch this. I'm going to copy the name. I'm going to ch change the name of my view. And then I'm going to run it. And then under my view, my queries, I'm going to move this into a shared query. I want to keep all of the, the, the queries I've used to, uh, to build out my warehouse uh, or my lake house. I want to keep those all inside of one place so it's really easy for me to get back to. Right, uh, and then I'm just gonna keep doing this exact same thing until all my views are created and I've got all my objects and all my fact tables with views that are changing the date. This also gives me views that I can use to adjust data types, to address any issues that I have coming from a lake house. And I've got a one big table for that flattened report to be able to showcase how to do that in future videos okay and there we go now i've got my entire data set i've engineered the whole thing i'm doing super happy about that right you you think that uh, you think that's great right wow wait a minute though yo as a data analyst i need joins i need measures i need all of that stuff on there are you going to do that too nah man I'm going to leave that to you, all right? Like, I'm not doing it. That's up to you. Fair enough. Fair enough. I'll, we'll cover that in another video, okay? Yeah, I, I think that's probably the best, all right? Just, just do it in the other one. Okay, thank you very much. Really appreciate you tuning in, seeing how you can data engineer a solution uh, by loading it up, getting it out there. Now you've got a model that's out there, or you've got data out. It's in a lake house. You've got SQL endpoints. It's your AdventureWorks data warehouse, all set up and ready for you. And it's available for code, and you can just use it as is, all right? And because we have these Python notebooks, it's already set up with you know the right uh, camel case just like the adventureworks database is so this is great for you if you need that adventureworks database this is this is for you all right so if you have any questions comments want enhancements or changes let me know leave a leave a message down below heck contribute to the git repo let's build out the most kick a uh, demo data uh, data lake house that people can use broadly to test out all these capabilities. So feel free to contribute over at the GitHub spot uh, and make sure that you follow Kratos BI on Twitter at Chris Wagner over on LinkedIn. You guys have a great day now. Peace. 
Baker Tilly Digital combines strategic industry insight and advanced technical expertise to uncover and solve your digital transformation challenges. If you're interested in learning more, check out our website at bakertilly.com digital.